Hello everyone, today we're going to be reviewing the V19 Torrent LEGO Star Wars set review. This set was released, I believe, in 2007 or 2008, but I believe it's 2007. We'll take a quick look at the instructions. I did not give an answer, but I'll tell you if I find it later in the video. Um, I, I don't, I could bought this set used a while back, and here are the instruction booklets. It came with two, and I just wanted to take a quick look before we go into everything. It did not look like there was number bags. Um, I did not get the minifigure with the set, but it does come with, it did come with one, and it has a clone pilot with the Clone Wars printing and no leg printing. And it has a little Darth Vader, Vader print in the top right of it. And on the back, you can see other sets from that era, era sorry, which I already showed there. And in the second instruction booklet, you can see even more from 2008 and a few different pages showing off the sets. And there's a few pages for each and including one showing this set. So now let's take a look at the actual set itself. So here's a look at the set and you can already see that this thing is really big. When this came out, I believe this was $60 and it had 671-ish pieces. Um, for mine, I put in just a normal clone trooper because I don't have a clone pilot because they're a little expensive. They're like 20 bucks per, which one day I'll get one. But for now, we're just going to use a normal clone trooper and we can put him in there. So let's take a better look at this. So immediately we will take a look at the cockpit. Um, you use these two little pieces right here in gray to pull the cockpit forward, and then you can push it down like this to open up the full cockpit. In here, you can see a panel by the clone trooper, and you can see a little bit of the mechanism in it too. I'm just give me two seconds. But you can see there is a Technic rod, try to get the light, that goes through it to activate it. And there are, the minifig is a little difficult to get out with one hand, but you can see a blue chair in it and the panel, which is kind of hard to show because it won't focus. Yeah, so it, it kind of looks like the Death Star trench run a little bit. Um, yeah, let's take a look at the rest of the ship. So first, before we do anything else, we're gonna take a look at the ship itself. It does sit in an angle, which is a little bit annoying and irritating, but it, it's not too bad when you look at it from the front. Or from the side of the back, it's a little bad. Um, the size two large engines, a very large gap here, which you'll see why later, and a lot of dark red pieces. And this is very dusty. I've not been able to wash it because I bought the set used. And this color red breaks easily. On either side of the ship, there are a flick. There's one flick fire missile, and what you can do is you flick it like that, simply, or you can press down on it, like this, which does a lot less just like that and yeah so that's pretty much the play features when it's sitting down let's open it up so there's this little knob back here and if you want to carry it when it's not in flight mode you keep it pressed out and you can turn that you keep it like this and then you can carry it without the wings folding out if you want the wings to fall out you have to turn it so it lines up the wing itself then if you grab the wing like this it, it's hard to open with one hand a little bit, but you can, it's very doable though. Um, there's a look at the underside, but yeah, here is a look at the ship standing up. It is a very large ship, um, especially for $60. This is probably like a $90 set, if not a $120 set now, which is insane by today's pricing. Um, on the top, you can see two hydraulics, which we'll take a closer look at in a minute. But first we will look at each wing. Each wing has Republic logo, which is a sticker, which mine are peeling off, and two cannons, one on each side, one big and one small. And here's a look at the this the bottom wing, which you can see looks okay from one angle, and not the greatest from the other, but it still does work. Now we'll take now we'll take a look at the set when it folds up. So it's gonna be a little tricky, but I'll try to show you the hydraulics pressing. So you can kind of see them pressing as I lift the ship up inward and that brings all the wings together which is a huge amazing design which lego will never do again and if they remake the set it's going to be a completely different design and the ship will most likely look completely different so one more thing is the landing gear when you pick it up the landing gear folds back and kind of hides itself underneath each wing and looks very good um this is probably one of the best like sets i've seen in a while like that's an older set 
Um, it's just, it's a flawless design, especially for the time. If the set came out now, I feel like it'd be very accepted. Um, the hydraulic's a little funky, but I still believe it works kind of well and to the point. Um, one other thing before we move on to the last opening, like, sorry, closing things, is the bubble turret, the bubble pieces. You can easily take these out. I don't know why they're in there. I guess just for extra detail. But you, I didn't know you could do this, but you could put, like, pieces like that in there to give the extra detail. There's one on each side of it. And, yeah, that's those pieces. So, one last thing before we exit. These are left open. I do not know why. They might have been closed. I don't believe so. And it uses the old cockpit piece, which is my first one of these. Instead of clips, it uses just studs. So, we can literally just place down on base plate and hold it in with two studs and two, like, half studs-ish. So, kind of like that. But thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you all again soon with more reviews. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.